Hi, Deirdre McNamara here from Letter County IT. I'm just going to do some revision of the work we've been doing to date, covering uh, general multiplication and formulas, uh, looking at charting, looking at conditional formatting, and some if statements. Okay, so I have here in front of me a sheet. I've just done the plain typing to try and speed things up. And what we're trying to achieve, I'm just going to flip over to the next tab where I have a finished uh, example done, over here. So in here I have the different snack types. I'm buying them by the box. And in a box of crisps, for example, there are 20 bags. So the first thing I need to do is to calculate the price of one single bag. Okay, So that's going to be your price per box divided by the 20 will give you 28 cents. Now we're selling them out at 40 cents. So the profit per bag will be the 40 cents minus the 28 cents. Okay, and then down the same for all of the other uh, items. Uh, down in the second half of the sheet, I've got how many bags I sold on the particular Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, down as far as Sunday. And then we add up. So for example, when you add up the 24 or the 20 all along, we get 257, so we use that. So we sold 257 bags. We made 12 cents for each bag. So I'm multiplying the 257 by the 12 to get uh, by the 12 cents to get 30 euros 84. Uh, and then we're going to put in an if statement in here. And if we're making, let me check, uh, if we're making, I think more than uh, 50 cents or less than 20 uh, euros profit, then we'll drop um, the particular snack item. Uh, if we're making more than 20, we'll keep selling it. Okay, so all the typing for this sheet uh, has been done on this sheet in here. Okay, so the first thing we'll do is we'll work out our cost per bag. So we've got uh, the price per bag here, the quantity in the box. And uh, it's hard to read them, so I'm just going to select along and I'm going to put on wrap text, which makes it a little bit easier to read. Okay, so um, 560 divided by 20 is what I want in here. Start off with your equals, and it's the 560, which is in cell B3, forward slash or divided by the 20, which is in cell C3. So it's equal B3 divided by C3, and then I press enter. Okay, I go back up and select my 28, and I drag down, and it calculates along. Now, some of them have more decimal places than others. I think I'd like just two decimal places everywhere, so I want it to look slightly differently. The numbers will be the same, but I just get it to round up to two decimal places, so I'm going to click on the comma, which brings it um, to two decimal places. Okay, so the selling price per bag is 40 cents. Again, it'd be nicer if they looked a bit more like money, so I'm going to put it over to two decimal places. So our profit per bag would be the selling price less the cost. So equals the selling price minus the cost. Okay, so that's equals E3 minus D3. And then I press enter. I go back and select the uh, cell F3. I get my black cross, which is available in the bottom right hand corner, and drag down. Okay, so um, that's the first half done. Now I need to do uh, the second half down here. So I'd like to add up those numbers there and put the total into this cell here. So I select this cell here click on my auto sum up here. It automatically selects the right numbers, that's correct. So I'm gonna hit the correct or press enter on my keyboard. Then I get my fill handle and I drag down. Now our total profit will be calculated by multiplying this 257 by the 12 cents up here. So equals to start that cell there, which is cell I11, multiplied by which is star, F3, which is this cell up here, and press enter and then I click and drag down. Okay, um, so that's fine, This we're, we're, we're nearly there, but it doesn't look uh, quite right yet. So the first thing I'll do is I'm gonna select that area there, I'm gonna choose all borders, I'm gonna choose thick box border. My titles are on the left, my numbers are on the right, that's not right, so I'm gonna select my titles at the top and right align them, okay? Snack uh, profits, they should be across the top, I'm selecting from A1 to F1, and I'm clicking on Merge and Center. I'm going to increase the font size by clicking on this button here, and I can change the font over to something else. So I'll do the same over here. I'm going to Merge and Center, and change it over. Okay, now we need to put on our borders in here. 
tall borders, thick box border. Okay, we also need to put on wrap text up here, so wrap text and write a line. Okay, um, so the first thing I want to do, do is to put on some conditional formatting. So I'm going to select up here, I'm selecting cells um, F3 to F7, and the conditional formatting I'd like to highlight in red any snack item that isn't making more than 10 cents profit. So conditional formatting, highlight cell rules less than, and we're going to say 0 0.10, and they're going to come out in light red, that's okay, and click on okay. So you can see here, um, the salted peanuts and the popcorn aren't making us more than 10 cents. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is my um, if statement. So I'm selecting this cell down the bottom. I'm clicking on FX. I'm going to choose the if statement and click on OK. So I have some sort of test. Our test is going to be, is this less than 20? Okay, so is this cell here, which is uh, J11, less than 20? If it is less than 20, we want it to say drop uh, item. And if it isn't less than 20, we'll say keep selling. So I'm going to type in our test now. So J11 less than 20. And if it is, I'm going to drop, drop the item. And if not, keep selling. And OK. And so this item is, le is greater than 20, it isn't less than 20, so we are going to keep selling it. If I drag it down now, you can see this item and this item here are less than 20, and so drop item has appeared uh, over here. Okay, the next thing we need to do is we need to create our chart. So looking back on this sheet here, um, we are doing um, a, a bar chart. And the bar chart uh, uses this information here and also the total profit over here. So we just want this column and we want this column here. So going back to our own sheet then here, what we do is we uh, select like that, the first bit from cell A10 to A15. I let go of my mouse. I then hold down Control and hold select from J10 to J15. And then we click on Insert and pie and I'll just choose a plain pie chart okay so it's automatically put it in for us but if we look back at the original you'll see we don't have a legend on the side and we'd like the numbers and the uh, category names to appear uh, beside each piece of the pie so going back over here we need to change that so we go to the layout tab we go to data labels more data label options and in here, we're going to have category name, value is already selected for us, that's already done, and close. Now, the positioning, I forgot to choose the positioning. Some of these are inside and some of them are outside. So I'll go back in again, data labels, more data label options. I won't choose best fit, I'll choose outside end and close. And now they're all outside. We don't need this thing over here, that's the legend, legend, and none. Okay, now sometimes you need to drag each of them, so click and then click slowly again, and I'll drag that one along a little bit, which makes it feel a bit easier to read. Okay, um, so that's the first chart. Now the second chart, um, it's daily sales, each day sales, it's a stacked, so that could be Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, stacked on, uh, each on top of each other. So for that information, we select from Friday, on as far as Sunday, we don't include the total, and we go to insert and bar, and it's a stacked bar. Okay. Now at the moment, we've got Sunday to Monday over here, and we have the names of the snacks over here. We'd like it the other way around, so we click on the switch row column option, and we get the titles over here. Okay. I'd like to move this chart, so I'm going to move it down over here. Um, the only other thing I need to do then is I'll move this one as well is um, I'd like some shading in here so I'm going to select that area in there and I'm going to put on a bit of shading I'm going to tidy up any uh, borders I notice the keep selling is stretching out over here so I'm going to just stretch that out a little bit so it fits nicely put on a bit of uh, shading in there 
um, and any number that we calculated I'm just going to make it bold okay so the selling prices we typed in these numbers here we calculated I'll make them bold the total and this one here is also bold uh, as well. okay this is the end of this video